Do, 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 I have just won an award for uh, the park with the best roller coasters. Oh, that is no wonder. And uh, also marks the completion of Turbo Town. Yeah, it's all filled up now. Although, eventually, when this park is entirely full, I'm probably gonna go uh, through every area and maybe add a few little details here and there if needed. But for now it's complete, all filled up, look at that, all kinds of buildings and whatnots. Uh, so yeah, I finished this uh, Twin Tower skyscraper thingamajigamabobamabobama, whatever here. Um, uh, so it's got the corrugated steel things for walls and then uh, abstract windows, these things. At first I colored them... Uh, with the uh, light purple or pale purple, whatever. Uh, this color, same way I did over here, but then uh, after they were done I changed it because I thought they were too purple. Because you got your purple already over here in the uh, Astonishing Abstractia. So then I changed them to this color on this side and this, uh, I mean, this color on the other side. And then I also used this uh, blue for this little structure here. Uh, it's got two signs on this side that say hyperventilation and then one on this side with the same text. Goes the uh, Felix or whatever goes there and such. Uh, so let's look at the main building. Uh, this side is like uh, pretty much symmetric or almost symmetric. It's got like these uh, uh, whatchamacallits uh, extensions on each side although on this side it's an open balcony because the uh, roofs couldn't fit there because of the coaster uh, but then over here it's the same and then on this side it continues up further to support the sky bridge here that goes between the buildings from building to another and down here, more of those curved uh, uh, corrugated steel roofs. And same thing on this side. And then there's still more down there where the coaster goes through. And same thing on this side, except you can't see it because it's behind the Ginky Bowl structure. Um, and then this side is much more uh, irregular shaped because there were so many. Uh, twist in terms of the coaster here, so it got pretty uh, intense with trying to fit walls and windows in there. And as a result I extended it this way with this uh, part of the building. Uh, it's got more of those curved uh, roofs, except they're like going a bit higher as they approach the main tower or whatever thingy. And the main tower also has these uh, uh, what did I call them? <laughs> Fuck, I forgot that word already. Extensions. And, uh, except they're not supported by poles like that one, because there was no room for poles here. And, uh, wait a minute. Um, there might be actually room for poles down here, but I'm not sure. Maybe, probably not because of the, uh, the go kart ride. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like there is. Let's put them in place. Although, uh, looks like I can't put on this side because the uh, super ethical PR opportunity goes through there. I guess I could put it like that. Mm -hmm. Well, this extension here is similar to those ones. There was room for uh, poles there. There's quite a bit of holes in this building because so many rides go into it, but I did my best to make them look nice. And then both buildings have Saints Flow uh, advertisement billboards or whatever on them. Because this could be like the Saints uh, headquarters or something like that. And then let's go to the roofs where we got these water towers, which are leaking, of course. And then this uh, door here that leads to a stairwell or something. 
And then in the corners we got those uh, statues that are part of the uh, cre uh, spooky theming, not creepy. This one has the tall ones and this one has the smaller ones. And then this central thing is surrounded with mesh vents. There's like a uh, maintenance area or something for the water tower and there's like barrels and such in there. I don't know what they are for, maybe full, filled with chlorine or something, other chemicals that you put in tap water. And then this roof also has a doggy guarding it, this one had, does not. <laughs> and uh, hmm. what else we got? There's <laughs> probably some details about the building that I forgot. Uh, well over here I could mention these. A uh, few blocks there are a bit darker because I had to use this wall. Uh, because the corrugated steel wall can't be built as small as this one. From this angle it looks much more uh, similar in color, but then from this angle it's much darker. But what you gonna do? Because pretty much in any other place I could like put it on the outside if I needed to uh, block a hole. But here it's not possible because I do not own the land. So yeah, that is probably it for the main building, this H HQ or whatever it's gonna be called. Uh, so yeah, the, the, here was this uh, little building there. And that's all the buildings that I did, but then I added all kinds of random stuff in here, more, uh, more trees, what are those called, uh, common junipers and Lombardi poplars, and then a bunch of, uh, these bushes everywhere, try to get rid of some of the supports so there wouldn't be as many, and then I also put some of these conifer hedges all around. They look nice mm. and kind of like bushes <clears throat> or trees or both. <laughs> mm, let's see, was there anything else? <laughs> Damn it, I hate, hate the fact that it takes so little time to explain such a big undertaking. Let's do a little uh, ad addition here if it's possible. Yes, there we go. Uh, let's see if I can put a corrugated steel wall in there. Nope, damn it. Coaster in the way. I'm kind of surprised how well this turned out. Uh, uh, despite all the coasters and rides, or uh, the coaster and all the rides being in the way, because <laughs> it gets so difficult to put in stuff here with all these twists and turns. 